Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Basic Builds. I'm Kalos and today's episode we are going to be working on a small water feature or a fountain. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so as you can see, I've set up what I see pretty commonly is something similar to this, if not this itself, in a lot of towns on the townie server on Orbency. It's not the prettiest of water features I've seen. You can make something a bit better than this, and that's what we're hopefully going to try and do. So, what we will need, as you can see, I've got a pallet already made out and we've got some half slab stone bricks some mossy stone bricks normal stone bricks a half stone slab yeah and oh, I will vanish and a sea lantern and a piece of glass and you're thinking why do we need glass for a fountain well I'll show you later it will help with the water placement now the first shape I think we're going to use is going to be a circle we're going to do five along and then a three like this, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Now this is a small circle. It can be as big as you want it. If you wanted to, you could do five, two, one, one, two, and then five and then follow that all the way around to make a much larger fountain but because this is a tutorial I'd like to keep it small and simple really so the first thing we want to do after getting our initial shape done 5, 3, 5, 3 is we want to replace the bottom so we can dig out all of this dirt should have been this digging, digging. I swear guys I won't start some of the videos so I'll probably End of my life. And we're done. And now a lot of people will just fill the whole thing in with stone brick like this. I'm like, ah, that's fine, that'll do it. And to be honest, it won't. It just looks like a stone wash wall. It's not pretty. It would look a lot better if you go around and just at random look it doesn't have to be symmetrical or anything it just can be random locations random spots just place in some mossy so it looks like the water has eroded some of the brick over time you put up algae at the bottom of your water feature then we need to mark the center so from the middle here into the center there two three four five six seven eight nine we may not go that high but nine should be enough now two blocks up we head two yep yeah. and one two one two yeah. one two and take it around like this now that is the bottom layer, it doesn't look like much yet, but if we get a half slab, our stone one, and take this out, three, so from there, one, two, three, and connect it, one, two, three, and around, one, two, three, and around again, let's finish this up. Now, this is where the glass comes into play. We're going to put a piece of glass there and there. A piece of glass there and there. And then we can come up, break this, and put a piece of glass in there as well. And this is to help later on with water flow. Now, let's do three blocks up and we'll do a single. Oh, one block. Single. One, 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 one. And we don't want to see it, we're going to put that there for the line. And then, same again, we'll take half slabs, these ones again, just go all the way around, like so, and then take the ones on top of the blocks out. Get two pieces of glass and put them on top. You can use dirt, I use glass because I'm in creative, it's just easier for me to see. Um, now, to make sure the water flow looks correct, just 
fill in as much as you can so that all the bottom is steady. There's no flowing bars at all, it's just solid water like that. And then we can put our water flow at the top. And we'll go down because we have the glass here. So we'll take that glass out, this glass here, this glass here, this glass here, and this glass here. And then as you can see, it's coming down. Now some people do prefer it without these corner pieces, so we can take those out and have the foam black just there. You can even take that one out as well if you fancy it. If it looks nicer for you, do it. And that's pretty much it. That's how simple it can be to make a nice looking water feature. What you can do is you can go in the corners, one away, and place a sea lantern in, or a glowstone block if it's cheaper and easier for you use glowstone that's just the same and yeah that's one water feature if you stick around for the next part i'll show you a more modern design that i play around with and you can use with any size or shape see you soon welcome back guys and in this part of the tutorial i'm going to show a more modern design using quartz so we've got quartz slab Quartz block, sea lantern again, glass, and cobblestone wall. So instead of going for a round shape, we're going to go for a more rectangle kind of T L junction. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sounds like a nice number. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and just in case anyone's suspicious, we'll do fourteen. We don't want to have any unlucky numbers here. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, one more for the dot, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then bring these ones in to connect with each other. So bring this one here and this one there. Now just to save everyone's ears, I am going to world edit all of this out. So I'm not breaking 500 blocks. There we go. Well, 100 blocks. And I could have set it all as quartz if I'd used my brain, but that's not screwed in today, it seems. So we'll just set it all as quartz now. The best part I like about this fountain and feature is that it doesn't have to follow any design. You can do any shape you like, any kind of pattern. It really is what suits you best. It's simple, but it looks nice. Now, wherever we're going to have water spouting out, we want to put a sea lantern. So we'll put one there, I think, one there. Might have one here and there. And maybe there and there. No? Then you want to get your cobblestone wall and just randomly just go up and maybe out one. We might go out this way up along here just make it look like it's alive or it's moved or it's just an abstract piece of art some people like this kind of design I'm not 100% on it but it's modern more modern than some of the fountains I've built and we'll do up here we'll start one there I think possibly yeah and we'll go up 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 here uh, there and one two out this way oh. and we might split this one off two ways that might look nice possibly and we'll see we'll see what happens now you can't just go placing water on the top of these because you're just gonna it's just gonna flow everywhere it's not possible what you need to do is decide where you want your water flow to go and make it flow that way so if I wanted my water to flow here I would place a slab behind there and there this will make the water only flow down onto that block and the same can be done on this side so I'll place one there and there and it will only flow down here and then I want this one to go inwards so we're going to place here here and here we're always channeling it to the way we want it to go 
this one I want to flow that way so it's going to come along here and then it will hit here and try and go every other direction where we don't want it to we want it we might not need that one we want it to go there and now this one here helps us with placing a block there and oh, one there yes I know it looks a mess but it will look a lot nicer once we add the water to it it does make a difference we have that one there that's going to flow down here and then flow off there there is method in this madness you'll see it soon hopefully things all go according to plan and one there one there there we go now before we play with the water flow so let's get all this bottom filled in as we did the other one make sure there's no flowing water anywhere make sure it has to be still it just looks nicer from the finished build without having a oh don't want that one there now thank you Ooh. there we go and then in all your spots just place water and make sure it flows make sure it goes the way you want it to and not like that in there I'll place one in here oh yes it did it went just where I wanted it to go that one I'm not happy with no we're going to change this one we're going to make this one go hmm I will make it go that way just for the no actually yes we can yes we can we can do that there we go and then this one here is the tester do you yes beautiful here and here there you have it that's a bit more abstract it's mm, well I've got a design over here it's not as pretty as well this one I prefer but yeah you can do any shape any design inside of this you don't even need to use wall you can do fence you can just do solid blocks if you prefer I mean I don't know how it would look with solid blocks because I don't tend to do it but we can have a quick block uh, gold just a nice fancy gold fountain uh, no it definitely looks better with some type of wall or fence block definitely I wouldn't go using solid blocks on this type of design but there you have it that would be a more modern water feature there for you um, hoping that this tutorial helps at least a few people out there uh, I've been Kalos I'm on the orb MC server I'll leave a link in the description and I hope to see you soon Bye.